So now I'm ready to use Xnerves. So I'm gonna um, click on the icon Xnerves. There it is, there's the menu, okay. Uh, it's pretty straightforward, I would say. It's not very complicated. Uh, so the first thing I'm gonna do is select the, um, the curve that will be actually the limit of my surface. So it's this close curve that I created here. So I'm gonna select this curve here, like that. And it's gonna say curve zero, G zero boundary, all right? So uh, this is what we call the boundary. It's the limit of my surface. Uh, because I'm selecting a curve, by default, it's gonna be in contact constraint. If I was selecting the edges of my surfaces, you would have the option of either choosing tangent or curvature continuities as well, all right? In topology, you wanna to make sure that boundary constraint is checked. You can click on show preview. It's gonna give you a little uh, pre-visual of what the surface looks like, okay? So you can see that by rotating, it needs, I need to feed more information to XNERPS to start shaping that surface, basically. Uh, and like I mentioned, you know, the, the curves are not touching one another and it doesn't, it's not a problem for XNERPS at all. It can easily work. Patch function in Rhino, I'm not convinced it would give that uh, a good result. Uh, I'm, not very, I'm a bit skeptical. If you were to use the Rhino tools, you would have to have the curves go through the specific points, all right? And then you can create a sweep to rail for that surface, another sweep to rail for another surface, and so on, and trying to make sure that they're all nice and tangent and stitch them up together to create one poly surface, okay? It's, it's, it's a longer process, I would say. So let me show you with XNERVS what I can do. So I've created a boundary curve here, and I'm gonna select my second curve, for example, this one. Now you see that it says G0 boundary. It's gonna be not gonna be my boundary. It's gonna be an internal curve. So I need to go to topology and uncheck boundary constraint and my, my surface updates itself, all right? So I'm gonna select another curve. So I'm gonna select this one. And I want this one also to be unchecked for boundary constraint. So it needs to be an internal curve. So I've got boundary, internal, internal. And once I'm happy with the result, uh, let's see, do I need to select another curve? Now this one's gonna mess it up. So I'm just gonna, oops, I chose the wrong curve here. Sorry, I was choosing one of the curves in the back. There you go, I chose another curve here. And now it's gonna add more uh, refinement to my surface. I think it's an amazing tool, uh, that XNERVS, and I'm really, really happy to have it. And I can see, I can appreciate the quality of the surface here, all right? So I just selected a bunch of different curves, internal and the boundary constraint, and my surface updates itself, all right? So uh, once you're happy with the results, you've got here the sliders, I put them to the max for quality control and flatness. You can see that by moving the sliders, you can see sometimes the changes of your surface, okay? You can appreciate uh, the updates that it's doing, but I'm gonna push the sliders to the max and just click create. And there you have it, simple as that. So now I can turn off the menu and this is, this is beautiful. I really, really like this software. So I highly recommend it to everyone. So now I don't need to those network curves. Uh, I can hide them or delete them, you know, and then this one, I know that because it's in blue, that means that the back faces are showing. I'm just gonna flip the normals. And there you have it. Now, with this surface selected, I can go here where it says shaded viewport, pull the toolbar, which is called display, and I can go to the set object shading attributes. And you're gonna see here in the command line, it says mode equals use view. I'm gonna click on that. And you've got the different visual representations wireframe, shaded, rendered, et cetera, et cetera. So I'm gonna select ghosted, and there you go. I can see through like that. And I'm gonna uncheck the show surface ISO curves, and there you have it, okay? So that was using XNERVS. It's very quick, very powerful, and a very useful tool. So there you go. Thank you.